see any other thing with the highway? There's a charge. Simon, I'm not a mystic. Sorry. Simon, the other thing as well is that the charges that actually were laid, that actually brought into your home in the first place, were no, thrown no. out? Were thrown out. Yep. No, that in itself. Oh, so who, who here prepays their electricity account? Sorry? Who here prepays your electricity account? I've got a oh. refund check. No, 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 no. I don't no pay way. my house, so paying the current one, let alone. I just want to carry on with my life. I don't want to be in conflict. Do I want to be doing all of this stuff? You no, know, do I want to? No. Better things to do I've got better things right? to do, right? They're not letting go of it. They're blocking my attempts to orally examine, and you're a part of that now, yeah. right? If if I could orally examine those witnesses, they know the case falls apart. Right. right. So, why? You've played a part in that, Tanya. Yeah. Policy for not playing my part properly. So there's an, a matter that you can help me with. I, I need a. Um, I've only just been apprised of the court rules. And um, do you have a copy of those for the public? Or no, we don't. You don't. Where does that leave us if we can't get the rules? Um. You can actually apply through Brookers. Okay, they are the, they are the um, people who actually write the, yep. the, the, the legislation. And the, and the Brookers are the ones that write the legislation. Yeah, they've, and, they, and they also have case law where cases have been tested. In my haste to dismiss the case, I showed them how strong my case was and that they had no case at all. Tanya Parker's move was to actually doctor documents so that it appeared like I had a committal hearing, which is when you'd normally get to cross-examine the witnesses. If you're represented, it is highly likely that your lawyer will sign the papers for you saying that you've had a committal hearing. In that moment, you've lost the case. Hi, my name's Victoria Watson. Um, I was prosecuted on the 10th of May and my documents were actually signed off by somebody else and given to somebody else. Yep. And, and now I'm on a bracelet for 10 months. And how's this left you feeling about the New Zealand justice system? Uh, I'm not very happy with it actually because they've actually given out private information. And that yep. was my file so how can they do that if they're, they work for the government? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty bloody, bloody obvious there's some funny business going on eh? Yep. I'll just explain what we're looking at here. That's Victoria Watson's name that's typed in there and mine that's been handwritten in there and hers is just crossed out. The same for the prosecuting sergeant. And why is this significant, you may ask? It's all for this date stamp. Here you see the same registrar signing off as receiving the same statements on the 26th of May. <clears throat> which is impossible. It's impossible to have the same thing happen on two days, a single occurrence. Now we are here today to decide whether you are fit to stand trial, which is whether we'll actually let you enter a plea or whether we'll just lock you up for f up to five years without a trial. Well, we need to determine this not beyond reasonable doubt, but on a lower standard of proof, on the balance of probabilities. All I must do is look at what the police said. Well, sir, the police statements have changed several times already and they contradict each other. And I'm also trying to file private prosecutions against them so they have an interest in the matter. Well, we won't let you do that because they work for the Crown, like me, don't you know? Firstly, let's discuss the balance of probabilities, in my case that was defined as whatever the police said and only whether I was likely to be there. Nothing to do with whether I also was likely to have committed an offence or crime. The importance of the balance of probabilities thing is it goes against the beyond reasonable doubt um, level of proof that was required and it's also being used in the family court and in the youth court now, in the youth court, the government has announced its Fresh Start program for under-14s. 
that uh, will be put into militaristic boot camps and this is exactly how the Nazi youths started and once it started they expanded it to make it eventually compulsory for all kids and what you see here is a judge practicing from the bench um, for one side for the police the second significant thing on this document is the standard committal hearing stamp it evidences that everyone in the New Zealand justice system that is committed for trial is already guilty in their eyes um, a prima facie case established which which is the burden of proof um, because you did not plead innocent basically well despite all the evidence of malfeasance and doctor documents no evidence and the like the crown was trying to proceed and the way it works is that if you walk into the into the courtroom willingly you consent to and forgive all of the past wrongs so knowing that I was not about to enter the court especially without having to establish that the judge was in fact a judge Yeah, 
colonization of the remains and stuff. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's all part of that. It's all part of that. Some people from their land and it's all part of that. Yeah. 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 But there wasn't yeah. any. Uh, uh, no, we can do the. And he knows that the police are a tool of government, and he knows that the police are a tool of local government. Oh, no. Right, okay. There's, there's lots of conspiracy theories out there and all that kind of stuff, okay? But we all know that the world is one run by cooks, okay? That's just the way it is. No, I don't accept it. Okay, fine. But take a look that, around. That is, that, yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, it's, it's not oh, funny. It's, no, not when you're carrying weapons. The ability and acting on their orders. The ability to, to laugh at it is funny because it is kind of ironic. Well, just like that, they're just kind it's of fiction. ironic. It's fiction. Well, what about what happened to me? Yeah, I can't discuss that, man. Okay, look, if that's going through a court process, then oh, mate, it's a sham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we know that. But there is a larger question, which is. Firstly, what status does the court have in the land? What gave it its authority? And does it have subject matter jurisdiction? As I will not participate with any fraud, I was compelled to ask those questions in court and did so on the 21st of February 2011. So, they know that they cannot proceed with the Admiralty jurisdiction under that New Zealand flag on a native sovereign of this land, wearing this flag. And, uh, and so they've asked me to take it off, otherwise they threaten me with imprisonment. So it puts me in a bit of a predicament because technically it's an act of war and they're using piracy on the land. And, uh, but I don't want to be separated from my family, so we'll see how it goes. I'll just recap what you've seen in this video. Point one, New Zealand legislation is being written by a foreign corporation for foreign interests. Point two, the Crown Court Registry staff and judges work together to frame the innocent. Point three, it's getting worse and soon will be hard to hide the class system that the Crown is trying to formally re-establish. Point four. Everyone that is accused and stays within New Zealand's jurisdiction is guilty on paper, assisted by their own lawyers. Point five. The Crown Courts and Crown Judges are not the lawful authorities they are posing as. Point six. There are lawful remedies, but these require solidarity. Point seven. The New Zealand police admit they are working for foreign corporations and show open contempt for families in Tangata Whenua.